Hello everyone, welcome you all. In this video, we are going to discuss about base bias circuit. So, what is meant by first biasing is so we need to maintain the operating point in the center of the active region. So, by applying some uh, voltage to the external DC voltage to the transistor, we can maintain the Q point at the center. So, that process is called as biasing. So, in that, the first technique is base bias circuit. So, in, ba in this uh, circuit, the base current is a constant quantity determined by supply voltage VCC and base resistor RB. So, hence this circuit is also known as fixed bias base or simply fixed bias circuit. So, the base current is defined by VCC and the fixed resistance which will be applied between the VCC and base arm that is RB. So, depending on the RB and VCC, the IB value will be decided. So, that's why it is called as fixed current bias or simply fixed bias circuit because the RB value cannot be changed. So, depending on the IB, the IC will be changed and VCE will be maintained. So, uh, we need to maintain the IC and VC within this limit. So, that is called as uh, biasing, right? So, by applying some resistance and using some of the capacitors, we can do, the, uh, do that job. So, the, this is how a uh, base bias circuit looks like, where the, there is an input capacitor, output capacitor and the resistance RB is applied to the base arm and the resistance RC is applied to the collector arm. So, rest of the things are same, that is emitter, and then base uh, voltage between base and emitter voltage between collector and emitter now applying kvl to the base circuit that is uh, vcc minus ib into rb minus vb equal to 0 that is vcc minus ib into rb minus vcb vbe equal to 0 so ib will be found, ib will be equal to vcc minus vb divided by rb so ib will be vcc minus vbe divided by rb so this is the total voltage where we will subtract this much voltage then we will be left with only this voltage so this voltage divided by this resistance will give the ib value so i equal to v by r form we will be getting now coming to uh, second part that is apply kvl to the collector circuit so vcc minus ic into rc minus vce equal to zero so vce will be equal to vcc minus ic into rc but we know that IC equal to beta into IB. So when you put for IC, then uh, IC, uh, then uh, IC will be equal to VCC minus VC divided by RC. So by knowing these two equations, we can find out IB and IC, where we can uh, we should observe that IB will be depending on VCC minus RB because VB will be constant. That is 0.7 volt for silicon transistor and 0.3 volt for germanium transistor. So depending on the VCC and RB value. So in the fa in fact we can say VCC will be constant because it is a voltage applied. It will be a 5 volt or 12 volt. Now depending on only RB value, the IB will be depending. So IB will maintain or uh, control the IC values because IE will be equal to IC plus IB. So depending on IB, the IE and IC will be changing. So uh, the Q point will what will be containing? It will be containing IC and VCE. So we have to maintain this. So to maintain IC, we need to control the IB value. So like this, using the resistance, we can control the IC value. So that's why it is called fixed current uh, bias or fixed resistance bias. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching.